my floss tube channel, The Gym Stitchery. Today I'm going to show you my 2023-2024 whip parade. Today is Thursday, January 11th, and let's get started. So before I show you my whips, um, I wanted to take a moment and show you some bags I've been making. So I usually use um, vinyl zipper bags for my whips, but I decided to try making some all fabric bags and I love them. They're so quick and fun and I'm gonna post some on my Instagram page to um, sell there. So if you like any of these or you're just interested in seeing maybe what I make in the future, go ahead and add me over there. My Instagram handle is the Um I'll put that right here for you. So the first one I made is a super flopsy flimsy one. And then I did a little bit of research. I asked on my Instagram stories and I asked on my last floss tube um, for opinions, whether people liked the flopsy flimsy kind or the kind of sturdy or stiffer kind. Uh, most people that responded at least seemed like the thicker kind. So I only made one of these. So this one you can tell like super flopsy flimsy, but it's got adorable little bunnies on it. And then the back is the same as the top. And then inside it's got some bunnies and then some just solid cream. So that's one. And then I went on like a spring Easter bag rampage. And these are all stiffer and sturdier. So this one is the carrots and then just a solid orange backing. And inside this one is a yellow that matches some of the yellow carrots and then a cream. This one has carrots and orange on the front, bunnies on the back, and then inside this one is orange and cream. This next one, same kind of deal, except this one's got green on top, so carrots green with orange, ruby stars, speckled, I don't know if you can see the shimmer in the gold there. And then inside is a yellow and a cream. And then this last one is bunnies on the front, bunnies on the back, and just solid cream inside. And then these last two are my absolute favorite. Love, love, love them. Made them today just before filming. This first one is nostalgic. If you were a kid in the 90s, you'll recognize it. If you were a parent in the 90s to a younger child, you'll probably recognize it. And it is Regrets! I love it! I love it, love it, love it. I found this fabric and I'm not at all ever one for like licensed character kind of fabric, but this I just could not pass up because of memories. So it's got this cool like lime green blue squiggle top that matches Reptar. And then inside it's just a like a butter yellow color. So we've got, see if I can remember them all. We have Reptar, Chucky, Angelica, Spike, Tommy, Phil, Lil, and I believe Susie. So I've got two more of these already cut out. I just have to make them. One's going to have the same top as this and the other one's going to have a solid purple top that matches Angelica's dress. And this last one, I also could not pass up because I have a patriotic quilt planned. It's in the queue. I've had like the fabric is pulled. I haven't cut any of it um, and I haven't exactly nailed down the pattern, but the colors in this fabric are exact colors of my patriotic quilt I'm planning. And it's like quilty related. So here it is. Don't you just love it? Oh my gosh, I love it. They're stars, they're patriotic. They even have like pretend stitching around. So for this top, I use some Ruby Star Speckled fabric and then the back is the same as the front. And then for the lining, I just used a pale blue fabric. So I have I think three more of these planned and cut already, one more with the blue, and then the other two are gonna have 
like a bright red speckled top. So if you like any of those, find me on Instagram and yeah, let's get into the whip parade, what you're actually here for. So these are not in any order. If you watched my last floss tube, um, then I mentioned that I'm not good at all about filming on a regular schedule. If you've watched my floss tube for a while, you know I go like five or six months between episodes. So in an effort to make things, things as easy as possible on me, I'm just gonna grab and go. So first one I already have pulled up my bag. And this is my bag. I call it a mini project bag. I made this one. Um, the pattern I'm stitching is from Just Cross Stitch Christmas Ornament 2008. And this is what it looks like, if you can see that at all. It's called Merriest Christmas by Sue Hillis Designs. I'm doing this one over one on 20 count potato Ada using Belle Swa, the color tulip. And this is what I have so far. I love this one. This one's super easy for me to pick up um, while my girls are playing. Even if I just get like three stitches in and then they, they want me to read a book or play Barbies or whatever. Um, three stitches a couple times a day, seven days in a week really adds up. Okay, I'm not going to zip these bags to hopefully kind of cut down on time. So this is not super long, but I am going to put everything back in a bag. Okay, next up, also in a Me Made Project bag. This one was just kind of an experiment and it's quilted. This one is another ornament from Just Cross Stitch Christmas. This one is 2010. And this is the ornament. It says Faith, Hope, Peace. And it's called Windows of Faith, Hope, and Peace by Primrose Needleworks. I'm doing this one over one on 28 count vintage smoky white. And I'm using cotton cotton in the color sea spray. So this one, I really like doing one over one, but I didn't take into consideration that part of this design is the negative space. So for example, in the word piece, the E and the C are not stitched, just the background of those two blocks. And so each of those letters is only one stitch wide. And so it's a little bit hard to see. So I'm going to wait until I finish these last pieces over here, see how it looks. And then I may end up deciding to go back and those letters that are the negative space and maybe stitch them with like a navy blue color, but we'll see. And those two, um, these first two whips are part of my goal to make 12 Christmas ornaments in 2024. So we're about halfway through January and I'm probably three quarters of the way done with each of those. So not too shabby. Okay, next up is a big one. So this is the stocking I'm working on for my oldest daughter. I have two girls. This one's called Secret Santa. It's from the Gold Collection by Dimensions. I just think it's really classic. So I switched out the kit Ada for a different one. I think it's Vintage Country Mocha, 18 count. It came with 16 count, I believe. But then I did the math. Yes, yeah, 16 count, and that would just be like a really big stocking. So I switched to 18 count, and I started, I'm right here. I picked it up the other day for the first time in probably like 10 months, honestly. So realistically, my goal is not to finish this this year, but just to make substantial progress on it. And this one lives in an LSU project bag my mom got me. And I'm not going to take it out of the hoop 
because all the progress is within the hoop. And here we are. So this is Santa's elbow. He's like this. Shh. So it's his elbow. And then this is part of like the Christmas tree greenery. So all the green, I believe, yeah, all the green is like three or four threads and these are just all half stitches. And then these are all two threads and these are full crosses. So it is nice though, because even though there's quite a, quite a, a large amount of well, you know, different colors to use and for the shading purposes, most of them you can kind of like fill in the outline and then stitch all the middle and then like fill in the outline and stitch all the middle since it's like large chunks of fabric. It's just this greenery part, that's a lot of like confetti and counting and like seven up this way and three left. Let's see, I have no problem showing you my back. So I will show you the back of this one. I don't desire to have pretty backs. It's not my goal. If it happens, it happens. If it doesn't, it doesn't. No one's gonna see it in the end, but just for grins and giggles, here we go. So not bad here. And then here you can kind of see like there are threads carried, so. Let's see, that was whip number, whip number three. Okay, whip number four is from a Cross Stitch Christmas Festive Favorites. This is by Hirschner's, I believe. Craftways, which I bought from Hirschner's at least. And then I am doing the Holly Jolly Sampler. So this one was a lot of greens, um, blacks, and red, and I wanted to add in some other colors. So I changed the colors up, I added in navy. And here is where we are at. I started this one um, this past December of 2023. So I got some decent progress. So initially I started oops, at the top here and I worked my way across and then I was coming down to go across again. And as I was getting down, I was like, you know what, this isn't even quite halfway and I'm not sure how much I'm gonna have at the bottom in terms of a margin. So I just stitched my way down the right side and then across because this says Christmas, so it'd be easy to fill in. So I just stitched a little border and this is the bottom of the chart. So I will have enough, it's not a ton, but I usually don't, leave a ton of room anyway so it's probably like an inch and a half so that'll be fine for finishing but I haven't picked this up in a little bit but I do like it this one might not come back out until Christmas of 2024 we shall see hmm. okay this next one is actually my own design and I do not have a cover photo. So for this one, I'll have to insert one here. This is called Mardi Gras Crowns. Because if you're new here, I was born in Mississippi, but raised just outside of New Orleans my entire life until I got married and moved to Michigan. So here is that piece. Oh, look at this. I already found a needle from somewhere. So here's Mardi Gras crowns. So I really don't have much. I have to finish this bottom crown and then finish the circle and then stitch Mardi at the top. And this one will be done. I know exactly how I want to fully finish this. So I gotta get crack a lacking on this one. It's been a while since I picked this up, but I did pick this up um, earlier this week to stitch on it. If you're interested in that pattern, it is in my Etsy shop, which I'll link below along with my Instagram um, page in case you're interested. Okay, this next one is One Nation by Bygone Stitches. I am stitching this one over one on 28 count. I don't know the exact name of the fabric. I'm using White Lightning, Blacksmith Blue, and Cupid for my colors. 
then here is my progress. So sorry if you saw my last floss tubes. A lot of this is repetitive. Um, but I've started this probably two years ago and I haven't actually worked on it um, much in those two years. I did a whole bunch at the beginning and then haven't picked it up for a while. And I think that's because this one I have to st stitch in a Q-snap. This is the only piece I've ever stitched in a Q-snap. Initially I was um, an enhanced stitcher and then I've moved to like a six inch hoop and I really like that. And this is just, it just feels like a lot of work to get it out and get prepped and everything. So my LNS, there's a group of ladies that stitch together and they decided to do this project this year. So they're doing what a lot of people do, the one star, one state per week. So I've jumped on the bandwagon, joined them. I'm doing one star, one state per week. I was initially thinking that because I have so many stars, maybe I could double up on the states and do two states a week and have it finished by the 4th of July. That's like a reach goal. My more realistic goal is to just finish this up by the end of the year. But as you can see, we're in the second week of January and there's no state, so it's hard. It's hard when you're a seasonal stitcher and yeah, you just wanna stitch what you wanna stitch. This next piece is a little one that I made. I guess I didn't make it. I like rearranged it from the Lizzie Kate Halloween rules pieces. So I don't have any charts to show you, but this is my little, my little piece. I took two separate stitches. So I know the ghost and the dog are from two different charts, two different Halloween rolls. And I mashed them up together. And then I don't know if the spiders are from one of these two charts or from a third chart, but I'm, all I have to do is finish the spiders at the bottom. I have four and a half spiders to do and this thing will be done. And this thing has been waiting for four and a half spiders for probably, I don't know, a year? 15 months, something like that. It really, it's just ridiculous. I could have this done in one day. Um, I don't know what fabric this is. I know it's a 28 count two over two. So. Okay, next up. This is one of those ones where it's like, up to the stitcher, whether you consider it a whip or not. Okay, so this is the Scary Apothecary series from Hands On Design. I have stitched, I believe there are eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, oh, nine. There's nine of them. I have stitched three and I'm mostly done with the fourth. So I've done skeleton polish broomstick fuel, spider legs, and the one I'm working on now is cauldron cleaner. So this is two over two on 28 count. I'm not sure what this fabric is. I really should figure that out because there is no way <laughs> I'm gonna get five more on here. I'll probably fit two more on here. So I really gotta figure out what, hmm, yeah, what that fabric is. Unless I just stitch one more on here, so five on here and then stitch four in a different fabric. And when I finish it as a banner, alternate like gray and then if the other fabric, gray other fabric, that could work out too. So I guess technically it's a whip because I am working on the cauldron cleaner one, but I tend to consider the entire series a whip until I'm done. So yeah, up to you. Okay, this one has been a whip for a while. So this one was actually my sister's chart. She either stitched it or she wasn't gonna stitch it and gifted it to me. Either way, she gave it to me. And then right as I started it, I'm talking like 
a month after I started it, Kathy Haberman of Hands On Design came out with A Year of Celebration Season 2. And I was like, no, <laughs> because since I started it, I feel like I need to stitch all 12 of these, but I really like all 12 of those a lot more. So here we are. So this is a year of celebrations. I was stitching them in order. My grand plan when I started stitching them was to, I believe, have it stitched before the beginning of the month. So I would have January done by January 1st, fully finished, ready to go, and then just switch them out on some kind of um, like removal finish with magnets and stuff. Chose all my own colors, stuck to like the feel, like if she called for a green, I pulled a green, it's just a green that I wanted. And these are all stitched on fiber, on a whim, 28 count cappuccino. Oops. Okay, you'll just have to excuse the thread, the lone thread, okay. So we have January, February, March and then April was started and never finished. April was started and never finished like two years ago maybe. So just another one of those where I want to do it but not enough to actually pull it out and do it. Okay, next up is another series. This one's an Easter one. Let's see, this is Oology by Satsuma Street. There are three eggs, I believe. Um, actually, okay, this is one of those ones that's a series. So I finished one and then I have the fabric for the other three cut out and prepped but nothing to actually show you. So I'm gonna put this away. Hopefully I've showed you what it is actually gonna look like when it's done. This one is my artist whip. This is Winter Wonderland by Mill Hill, Buttons and Beads. This is just honestly sad that this is still a whip because all the stitching is done. And I would argue like half of the beading is done. In fact, on the other side of my sewing machine, I have a little rope bowl and inside the bowl, there's a ceramic bowl that has the rest of these beads. <laughs> so, here it is. I love it. I love the dimension. I love Mill Hill. No, it's just, I just have not picked this one up, but I've got to finish it because we're moving in like less than a month and I am not moving those beads in a bowl to Texas. So those beads are either going in the trash or on the kit. So hopefully it goes on the kit. Okay, jokey. Let's see. This next one is also quite old. Uh, it's a freebie from Doreen Jones it's called Halloween Bat. You have to go to her Facebook page. Um, she has tons and tons of free patterns, but that's where you find it. So this is what it's going to look like eventually. And I'm stitching this two over two with black coffee on a fabric I dyed myself. So I dyed it and then I coffee dyed it and then I baked it. So these holes are super, super close together and very hard to poke with a needle. But that's my progress. I am about halfway done. So I'm definitely halfway done with the circle. And the batch is just a lot of stitching. So I'm a little bit less than halfway done with that. But this absolutely will be finished um, for Halloween this year. It probably won't be FFO'd, but it will be at least finished stitching. 
Okay, this next one is by Hands on Design. If you're new here, you're probably sensing a theme. Hands on Design, Kathy Haberman is my favorite designer. So this is the Tree Lot. When I saw this released, I guess two years ago now, at the first Jingle Ball, I was itching to get it. So when it came out this year, I purchased it right away. I dyed my own green fabric because I could not find one anywhere that I loved. Mm. No, not the right green, but oh well. Here is my progress. This is the first tree I've stitched, pulled all my own colors, kept with the theme. So two reds, two greens, two browns, and a cream. I'm almost done with this one. It's this one right here. And I love it. And this is a fat quarter. This was actually um, linen. It's either 28 or 32 count linen. I got it when Hobby Lobby was clearancing all of their cross stitch um, stuff last summer. And then I dyed it myself with some, a couple different writ dyes. And I just love how it turned out. Love the color. So Next up is the Scarlet House Patriotic Scissor Pocket. So there's two teeny tiny smalls here and then the big piece and the big piece is the one that I'm working on. I'm stitching this two over two. Not sure what fabric, but I want to say fiber on a whim. And here's my progress. So I really don't have a lot to do. I have to finish the flag and then over here, there's another one of these yellow flowers and that's it. So this one will get finished this year for sure. Hopefully sooner rather than later. I was stitching on it last week. So towards the end of 2023, I just got a bug up my bed and wanted to finish like all the, I have all these little projects that just need a little bit more done and I was, really wanting to work on them so I worked on them and I got like two or three done and that was some good motivation to keep going okay I believe this is my last whip this is E Pluribus Unum by Jan Hicks Creates and I am stitching this one over one on 28 count with all my own threads and I am not stitching the words at the top Woo. Big old thread here. Oh wait, this is the back. Okay. So it will be hard for you to see, probably, but this is four rows of blue stitching and then two stars. So I like stitching one over one on 28 count because it looks very dainty and tiny and it saves me fabric and I don't care for large pieces hanging on the walls so works out for me and that's it wow we are only at like 28 minutes I'm shocked I, I sped through that I did that way faster than I thought it would but that's where I'm at as far as plans for 2024 um, I'm not going to do whip go. I love following along. My mom and my sister are doing whip go, so I'm going to cheer them on, but I just don't do well with like being told what to stitch, even if I'm the one telling me what to stitch. So I'm a seasonal stitcher. I'm just going to kind of stitch what I feel like. I definitely want to make good progress on my daughter's stocking. I want to hopefully finish One Nation by bygone stitches and really just finish a lot of these little smalls I just have a tiny ridiculous amount of stitching left to do um, and that's all if you're new here you like this I hope you hit the like button subscribe go back and check out a couple of my videos and I will see you later in 2024 happy stitching guys bye